Right, how you doing guys? Um, it's Liam, back with another YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about car insurance and uh, go through some hints and tips with you on how you can save hundreds on your car insurance, if not thousands maybe, depending on sort of your age. Um, so obviously I've got a BMW M140i, which notoriously expensive to insure. Um, loads of forums and, and messages online of people saying it's over two grand, three grand in some cases. Um, so stay tuned, I'll show you a few hints and tips on how to get cheaper car insurance. Cheers, let's get into it. Yeah, and make sure you stay to the end of this video, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm going through the hints and tips. Uh, my last one is sort of the biggest money saver, really. Um, and a lot of people sort of don't know about it. Uh, and it could save you hundreds of pounds. So stay to the end of the video. Yeah, and I just want to say a big thank you, guys, to uh, anyone watching this video uh, and anyone who subscribed to my channel. If you've not subscribed, be sure to do that. And uh, yeah, just want to say a big thank you. It really does help. Uh, so tip number one. Um, is probably the most important. Don't accept your renewal, your first renewal, that come through the post or on an email from the company that you're already insured with. Um, usually absolutely extortionate these. So stay well clear of them and, uh, and shop about before you accept any quotes. Um, I recommend uh, using Compare the Market. I find it quite a, a user-friendly one to use to get sort of comparisons on your insurance. Um, so highly recommend that. Our um, second one, uh, we've got your, your car valuation. So what you've sort of paid for the car. Now, I'm not suggesting you change this to some wild figure, which you obviously won't have paid for the car, but um, you can tweak this slightly up and down. Uh, and it does make small differences to your premium, which I found. Um, so I tweak mine up and down and then my uh, premium is slightly adjusted. So it's well worth doing. Uh, so number three guys is where you sort of park in your car so uh, during the day during the night uh, if you're parking it in a lock garage on your drive or outside your home now I've found it's actually cheaper to say you park your car on the street outside your home in fact it was about 200 pound cheaper than saying that I locked it in my garage so just another one to bear in mind have a play with that obviously don't lie if you can't possibly park on the street outside your home or you haven't got a garage don't say you're gonna put it in a garage. Don't say you're gonna park it on the street outside your home. But if you have the capability to, and you're happy to, it can reduce your premium quite a lot. So number four, guys, is your mileage. So the mileage that you're declaring uh, that you drive the car. Now, obviously, if you're commuting to work, you're gonna have to put a certain mileage. Um, don't drop below what you, you might be sort of expecting to do, but it's a bit of an average. You're not gonna get your mileage bang on. Um, for what you're actually doing uh, but as long as it's close enough uh, and it doesn't look like you've obviously lied about it now I found a sweet spot sort of tends to be around 10,000 miles if you can get away with doing that then then put around that um, sometimes if you drop it to 9 or sometimes 11 depending on the sort of algorithm and the data and the statistics at the time it can drop your premium by 50, 100 quid um, so that's well worth doing Obviously, don't go ridiculous. If you do 20,000 miles a year and say you, you're going to put 5,000 miles a year, um, don't do that because you're just going to get caught out. But um, another note on that, I actually looked at doing that, not for myself, but just playing around with the, uh, the app on uh, Compare the Market and it actually put my premium up uh, when I said I did a really ridiculously low mileage. So uh, bear that one in mind. Fifth thing I want to mention is, sorry, some big lorries going past, uh, ruining my video. But yeah, fifth thing I want to mention is driving license number. So a lot of companies now, if you put your driving license number on the insurance, they can verify it themselves. 
um, check you've got no convictions, etc., and your address is correct and your sort of identity is correct, uh, they do actually drop your premium. Um, to be honest, it's not a massive difference, uh, but it's well worth doing and checking. Uh, input your driving license number and uh, see if it drops your premium. Uh, sick thing I want to mention is the um, paying for your insurance, so uh, monthly or in full. Uh, a few people don't really know this until they come to sort of paying for it at the end. Um, and you might not have enough money in your bank account then to sort of pay it in full. But you do actually pay interest on paying your car insurance monthly. Um, it, it varies on company to company, but all of them charge you a sort of um, interest if you do that. So it's always better if you can pay your insurance in full or get a credit card, a 0% credit card or a loan if you can. Um, with a cheaper rate, pay it off in full and you'll save yourself a bit of money. Uh, another thing guys, just to mention quickly, is your voluntary excess. Now, be a bit of a mixed bag for some people this one, um, depending on sort of the amount of risk you want to take with the insurance I suppose. Um, so the voluntary excess is basically the amount that you're willing to pay if you need to make a claim towards that. So. It's not your compulsory excess, um, totally different. You can sort of change the amount on this one. Now, I recommend a sort of sweet spot that I've found is around the 500 pound mark, 400 pound. Uh, it might be a bit steep for some, uh, but for me, I find it a happy medium. So I know I'm not paying out way too much if I do have a crash, um, but it does bring your premium down uh, by the most, I believe that sort of price range so uh, think about that one um, and that brings me to my final sort of hint and tip for this video uh, it's probably the one that I'll save you the most money I think uh, is adding another driver onto your policy so um, they don't have to drive your car just have to be on your policy so if you live with uh, your mum your dad uh, any sort of family member um, your, your missus anything like that uh, if they're a competent driver and they've held the driving license for a number of years, ideally over 10, um, and they've got no claims on that, um, add them onto your policy. It, uh, it dropped mine by about 250 quid, just adding my girlfriend onto my policy. Um, she's just over 30 and she's had a license for about 13 years, uh, 12 years, no claims on that. So it really does dramatically reduce your payments. Um, like I say, they don't ever have to drive your car. They just have to be a name driver on there. Just one last thing to mention. Obviously, I've gone through all the hints and tips of saving yourself some money on your car insurance. But uh, what I just want to say quickly is, if you go on Compare the Market or whichever comparison site you want to use, go through the hints and tips, drop your premium to as low as you possibly can, and then uh, contact your insurance company back the one that you're currently with the one that provides you with a ridiculous renewal price usually most companies and minded um, they have a, a loyalty bonus so you contact them they might price match it and they might knock you some off with, with a loyalty bonus as well mine did um, and I managed to get a hundred pound off extra to what I was sort of quoted on uh, compare the market so it's well worth doing well worth a ring and uh, the guaranteed to knock you some money off especially if, if you've had no claims as well they'll want to keep you as a loyal customer thank right. you again uh, just for watching this video if you liked it hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button uh, drop me a comment let me know how much you've saved using any of these tips um, and let me know what you think to the video um, if you want subscribed make sure you visit my channel uh, hit the subscribe button it'll let me push more content and uh, hit the bell icon and you'll get notifications when I upload a new video. All right, cheers guys, see you later. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stopped, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah